special word for Billie Eilish and all of the, uh, and all of the, I can't believe the Lord wants me to do this, and all of the uh, actors and actresses who um, are still within themselves, who still have some sort of control over themselves, who have not been replaced or altered in some manner. Um, the, it's getting there. Any Anything you do, that's why they keep you doped up on medicine that's why they they've asked you to do things Billie Eilish they've asked you to do things they're going to continue to ask you to do things the more money you make the more you're going to owe them dear heavenly father help me we god knows that you feel like you're not being heard you're screaming from the inside i heard you scream you're screaming from the inside to be let out and you don't know what's going on. You're losing your memory. Your memory is off and on. Your consciousness is off and on and it's overwhelming. The world is compacting on you. Your um, the weight of your genius is is falling and toppling on top of you and you're you're up against the wall and you're in survival mode the lord sees you billy eilish but you have to get help you have to get help you have to get out and i know you're saying there's no help god is your help and um he wanted me i don't know how the exact verse is but he's showing me the verse right now that says to sell all your belongings and um, to sell all your belongings and to take up with Christ. Now, you know, there have been some people that have been rid off as insane or psycho, and you know they can do that. They can rid you off as sane or psycho, and they can do that. But you can get out now with your life and some of your money. If you act accordingly, I know that a lot of it's tied up and I know you don't even have uh, very much access to it. So, um, yeah, it's um, I know it's a program and I just know that you um, feel like you haven't been heard. I, I hear the songs. I see the messages. God has allowed me to see the messages, the songs. Don't abuse your power. Don't abuse your power. That's what the spirits have been telling you. But those spirits are not of God. They are telling you that you have this power. That they have used you. A, a, what God has made. A, a prophetess of God. The devil has managed to destroy in just a few amount of years. But it's not destroyed yet. It's not destroyed yet. You're not gone. You're still in there. I don't think Beyonce is still in there. But I know you're still in there. And you can have peace. You can go to the store and have a natural, normal day in a few years. If you, make the, if you do things accordingly. Now, I know you're going to get a lot of bite back. I know that they threatened you. I know a lot is going on. But the devil is a liar. Some people have already left. Some celebrities have already left. They're not famous. You don't hear their names anymore. Um, Alicia Silverstone is one. And I know, I know quite a few others. I've been following Hollywood for years. As I said, uh, one of the first things the Lord started having me do on this YouTube channel is decoding music videos and doing an analyst because um, I knew I was going to be. He had told me one of my um, one of my assignments is to help reunify Hollywood and bring Hollywood back to Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Bring Christ back to Hollywood making I mean not that it was there before but basically the God has given you these these arts this create creativeness because the devil cannot create so he perverts what he can't create we should be having we should be making music for God not boring music no nah, God's not boring at all guys he's not so um 
you know, we should be making music and movies and things for the Lord. That's why he gave us this creativeness. He doesn't not like stories. He loves stories. He loves love stories and everything. And I'm not saying that you have to start singing for the Lord or de uh, deviate so much. I'm just saying and have a heart and a mind to acknowledge him and to put him first. How just have to start off with a heart to acknowledge him and that you need help and that you want help but the lord is giving you this opportunity now and it's not it's a short window because they're going to be coming after you harder and harder asking you to do more and more and more and more things to keep that lifestyle to keep that going on mm -hmm. and so god is asking you now you can keep some of it or um you can keep some of it very little of it and start new and start again and then um you can start working with the right kind of people the right kind of people if you still wish to make music and things you can start working with the right kind of people but the lord knows you ain't working with the right kind of people now and the lord knows that um you are heavily influenced by demonic activity I mean, it's apparent. Not to the rest of the world because they can't see, but God knows your heart and knows who you are, Billie Eilish. Um, and for other stars and things like that, I just wanted to say that. And God loves you. And there's a call on Billie Eilish's life. Um, there is a call on your life for greater things in the kingdom of God because this world is not going to last forever. This world is not going to last forever, as I'm sure you know. And the thoughts that you have and stuff, it's not all you. You are beautiful in the sight of God. What you make is brilliant in the sight of God. But the, God does not want to allow you to let other people and de demons, demons, you know they're real. You know that they're real. That's what God has been trying to tell you. You've seen the demons to know that there must be a God. You must seek deliverance. You must see deliverance. I pray that any demon, the demon, the antichrist spirit be lifted off you in the mighty name of Jesus. That you seek God. You can seek uh, any uh, deliverance church you want to. And I believe that you will be healed. Because you will be healed. You will be healed. You need to believe that you can be healed. And that you're not trapped. You feel like you're trapped. The Lord says come up out of that lie. You are not trapped. You are not trapped, not yet anyway. Not He sent me to tell you. So when you get to that point where Beyonce and all those other people are not themselves anymore, they've gone too far. If some of you have not gone too far, come back to God. And Chloe and Holly, y'all um, y'all still up in there too. You're still yourselves too. You need to come back to God too. Because if you don't, they're going to ask you to do more things. And then those little pennies and nickels that they're giving you now. Come on, you're doing your, you're taking your clothes off for pennies. A couple, two million dollars. I saw your net worth, and it, it ain't even after all of that. Those, those um things and stuff like that. You guys are barely making enough to skim by. Uh, you know. So I don't know if you're still in there, which I'm. I you are. Come to God. Seek God. He loves you. The world is not. You don't get to keep this body forever. You don't get to keep it forever. You know that there's something else out there. You've already seen the ploys of the enemy. I wish more people could see the devil to know that God is real. But God loves you. He loves you. He's seen you. He sees you. Okay? Um, if you need anything, I'm going to leave my email and stuff. I know a lot of your handlers and things haven't liked my videos. But, um, you know, just I'm sure that... Uh, God will give you peace if you just ask for it. A lot of times we have not because we don't have enough power. All the stuff that we have built up, like this lifestyle and stuff, yeah, it can get to us. But you can always lose it in the twinkling of an eye. The veil between life and death is so thin, you know? But um, I love you guys. I love all the stars. And God have mercy upon you. Have mercy upon me. Okay, bye.